the next step we will begin by declaring one thing that seems default to us but it's not too obvious which is the working directory folder so that Excel can locate the DLL uh, Fortran file we, uh, when we call uh, Microsoft Excel from this execution here it uses the current path as the path where our DLL is located but uh, when we start Microsoft Excel and open this workbook it doesn't have to be this way it has to be assigned through the file system object change dir to this workbook this workbook path we can uh, make this multi row declaration no problem and uh, we'll save uh, by pressing the save button here it also saves the workbook I have already loaded uh, a few parameters to generate the uh, water CO2 mixture. I'll simply paste them. These are the critical temperatures in Kelvin, the critical pressures in bar the centric factors and the molar composition of our water and carbon dioxide mixture also we have here the binary interaction parameters and we'll make calculations using a relative volume and temperature and we have here Q which will be the matrix of the Jacobian matrix I mean the determinant of the Jacobian matrix. The relative volume will be 4 and the temperature can start at the value of 60. We'll press the insert function button to choose the user defined function Q. Q's arguments will be the mixture range which we can declare constant by pressing F4 key also the binary interaction parameters located in these cells also constant we also need the other binary interaction parameter and the temperature and the relative volume will be specified just like this it has the return value that we fixed in this subroutine but it also has just executed the uh, subroutine which we declare in Fortran although we didn't see when it, um, when it executed we can see that function saving the workbook at this point stopping the Microsoft Excel we'll close this file I'll close this other window and from here I can insert the cursor just before it finishes the Fortran subroutine to use the debunk function run to cursor it prompts a warning message that we have not information to uh, debug my Excel file of course we didn't write it, Microsoft did we say that it's okay if it doesn't show it in the future and we can see that uh, this function here uh, has all the arguments and it's being executed to make it recalculate we can press F2 and the enter key and we see that uh, it opens our um, the, the Visual Fortran debugger we see that it's using two components water and carbon dioxide flag which we have assigned a blue zero mixture variable 
here we can see the critical temperature for water and for carbon dioxide critical pressure for water and for carbon dioxide the eccentric factors and motor compositions also the binary interaction parameters the other binary interaction parameters temperature which, we, which was fixed at uh, 60 Kelvin relative volume of 4 pressure and C as well as the Q matrix haven't been calculated but we can see that it executes our subroutine and that it passes the appropriate parameters with no problem uh, if we continue to uh, debug the next line we'll, uh, and we'll see some assembly code here to avoid that we'll locate the cursor right at this point and uh, use the run to cursor instruction so that it executes the code uh, until the until the HK subroutine is being called again from Microsoft Excel this is a way we can debug uh, a Fortran code from within Excel this is the end of step 4